We'll start with Monty here on the left for Coach Kerr. Cool NBC Sports Bay Area. Steve, um, how do you think uh, Steph's foot held up? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think he was really laboring out there. He really struggled. No, he never, never even uh, looked like it was a factor. So, uh, just stunning. You know, the the the, the physicality out there is. Um, Pretty dramatic. I mean, you know, Boston's got a uh, obviously best defense in the league, uh, huge uh, and powerful at every position. And um, you know, for Steph to to take the uh, you know that that kind of pressure uh, all game long, and then still be able to defend at the other end when they're coming at him, it shows you. I think it, I think this is the strongest physically that he's ever been in his career, and it's uh, allowing him to. Uh, to do what he's doing. Continue on to Kendra. Kendra Andrews, ESPN. Stefan was, you know, very emotional and very outwardly just showing lots of emotion. When he is displaying that kind of feeling throughout the entire game, just what 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 can you tell about the way that, he, that he's feeling in the game when he does that? Or do you think that that kind of just injects the rest of your team with some other kind of juice? Well, everybody was emotional tonight. I mean, we, you know, down Two one, you, you, we had to come out with um, some desperation, uh, more physicality than we showed in Game Three. So it was a it was a team wide um, sense of uh, aggression and and emotion, and that started right from the opening tip. So uh, you know, Steph obviously uh, doesn't normally show a lot of emotion, but um, a night like tonight um, warranted it. Tim in the back. Steve, obviously, you don't normally take Draymond out in the middle of the fourth quarter of a game like this. What was the thinking of that? Did you see his reaction after, which was pretty emotional? And was it strictly to go offense defense? Because uh, he was out there for he was out for a while, but then you went offense defense with him in the pool. Uh, yeah, so we took him out um, and put Loon in. I think around the eight minute mark, maybe yeah, seven forty and. Uh, which was our plan anyway, but Loon was playing so well and Jordan Poole was playing so well, so we just stayed with the group. We we generally do that. I mean, like like most uh, coaches, if you've got a group that's that's going well, you just stay with it. And then, you know, the last few minutes, we just went to kind of an offense-defense pattern with uh, Draymond and, and Jordan alternating. Anthony on the right. Yeah, Anthony Slater, the athletic. Um, Wiggins plays 44 minutes. I think he gets 16 rebounds. Just how big was he tonight? Uh, Wiggs was fantastic. I mean, you know, to, to go against Boston, uh, you've got to deal with Tatum and Brown. Um, and they're, they're, you know, just uh, powerful, skilled players, um, great size. They're coming downhill at you constantly. And um, so we have to have Wiggs out there. And um, I thought he was, he was great defensively. Obviously, 16 rebounds, um, career high, and uh, plus 20 on the night. So, um, you know, we needed every, every bit of Wiggs' contributions. Marcus? Marcus Thompson, the athletic. Steve, how you stuck to your guns for years now about keeping Steph's minutes down and not playing them a lot. How much uh, gangster did you have to summon to sit him to start the fourth quarter? Yeah, he was not happy, but um, you know, I felt pretty good about where we were. Um, I just, I, I, you know, the other night he played the whole fourth, and uh, I didn't love the way that quarter went. Not not because of how he played, but um, uh, I think we were in a in a pretty good spot, and um, you know, to, to buy him a few minutes in that in the fourth quarter to start, I think. Um, to me, was important, but um, you never know how it all plays out. You just kind of go with go with your gut. CJ on the left here. CJ on San Francisco Chronicle. Steve, from a rebounding perspective, the game flipped completely when you put Loon into the game uh, early in the first quarter. How important is he to what this team does on the glass? Yeah, Loon is uh, is just crucial to everything we do. He's our best screener, um, our best rebounder. Uh, one of our smartest players. He's always in the right spot. You know, he made, I thought, the biggest bucket of the game when um, after um, Horford made the three from the corner, Draymond made the, uh, the pass out of the pocket to Loon. He finished with that left hand. Um, so Loon has just grown uh, leaps and bounds, you know, um, this year. He's been really good for us over the years. Um, but this year, 
in particular, he's he's taken a leap um, to a point where you know he's uh, he's just uh, you know irreplaceable for us, um, and he's uh, played in every game, and he's a, a guy we count on. I didn't play him enough in game three. You know that was my mistake. Um, so it was important to get him out there, and he had a huge impact on the game. Malika on the left. Hey, Steve, for 26 consecutive series, dating back to 2013, predating you, the Warriors have found a way to win on the road in every single series. What is it about this group, the resolve, the constants that allow that to happen? Well, you just you have a group of guys who are going to be in the Hall of Fame someday. You know, um, Steph, Clay, uh, Draymond, um, these guys are the constant. They've been here together uh, throughout that that span. So um, they're they're not only gifted, but they're incredibly competitive, and uh, that's what it takes to to win on the road. You have to summon that kind of will and and uh, intensity and passion, and, and those guys have that. Question in the back. Hello, hi, Tal Ben Ezra, how it's a newspaper from Israel. What will be your main focus heading to uh, game five? Well, I think the, uh, the whole focus has to be our, our energy and our force. Um, it was obvious tonight how much uh, more alert we were, how, uh, how much more uh, force we played with. And, um, you know, they, they completely outplayed us in game three from that standpoint. Series is now 2-2. I would expect both teams to, to bring every ounce of energy and emotion um, the rest of the way. Last question from David. David Aldrich with The Athletic. And Steve, you've, your group's been around a long time. You've, seen, you've been with them, and they've been with you, and I know they trust you. But how do you, is there any kind of – do you have to say anything to a guy like Draymond in a situation like that? He knows that, you know, maybe this was he wasn't playing great and Looney was playing better. Is there any part of you that has to explain that to him in that situation, or do you just trust you mean, that he understands? You understand? mean where I where I took him out? Yes. yes. No. No. Um, I don't ever want our players to be happy, you know, if I take them out. Uh, Draymond is incredibly competitive. I didn't I didn't see. Um, I think Tim mentioned. Um, a reaction. I didn't. I didn't see any reaction. But he's the ultimate competitor. Um, came back in, made huge plays down the stretch. Um, you know, he finishes the game with four steals, eight assists, nine boards. Um, look, this is a, a tough series for him to score because of uh, Boston's size and athleticism. But he's still impacting the game at a huge level, and uh, and he knows we're just going to do whatever. It takes to win. We've got a lot of guys who can contribute. Uh, a lot of guys did that tonight. And, uh, you know, we, we got it done. And whatever it takes in game five, that's what we'll do too. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.